Why do FPV quads have a worse connection when it's rainy or foggy? I got taught that usually you have a better connection when, when it's a light rain and so, or some water. But you have a better connection? No, you have a worse connection. No, uh, that's a myth, Dan. Um, that's a myth. Um, the, I'll tell you why this, the, that myth exists. It is true that water vapor in the air causes attenuation of RF signals, especially in the 2.4 gigahertz range, where it, which is close to water's um, absorption or, or resonance peak, which is why microwaves operate at 2.4 gigahertz. Um, that is true. However, the amount of energy absorbed is fractions of a decibel per kilometer. And I'm not going to pull out the math. I've done this math before on stream or on, on forum. But like monsoon level rains are like a tenth of a dB per kilometer. Which means that you need to be 15, 20 kilometers out before you really started to see a significant loss that was really noticeable among the sort of noise of the signal just going up and down in strength. Um so it is technically correct that rain and even fog cause additional attenuation. And so people latch onto that and they're like, ah, did you know you'll get shorter range when it's raining? But they haven't actually sat down and done the math and found that that matters for a satellite link. That matters for a 50 kilometer microwave link. But it doesn't matter for the typical ranges that FPV pilots operate at, which is typically just a few kilometers or less. Um, so. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, that is the case based on strictly the amount of water. So, like, it doesn't matter where the water is. For instance, like, if it's on the antenna, or let's say your antenna is underwater. Like, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying underwater, but, like, you know, let's say your antenna is yeah. soaked or, like, your quad antenna is uh, soaked. Argue, Does that really argue. make a difference? Arguably, yes. Uh, any any uh, material with a different dielectric constant is, I think, the term. There is a there is a characteristic of materials that relates to the speed of light at propagating through the material, and if you put a material close to the antenna that has a different speed of light. Uh, than the antenna is designed for, it will affect the propagation pattern, maybe the tuning. I'm not sure about that, but it'll certainly affect the propagation pattern of the antenna. So I could absolutely see an argument that water droplets accruing on the antenna, especially if it created like a sheen of water, which isn't that likely on an aircraft, on a quadcopter. Uh, I could see the argument that that would have some effect on the coverage. I, I think the result would be minimal, but I'm not sure about that. Maybe dielectric constant isn't the right word. Maybe I just pulled that out of my out of my butt. It is a it is a word. Um, okay. So if you're observing that you have significantly worse range in the rain than when it's dry, I don't know what it is, but I think it's not the water in the air that's causing it. It's something else. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> 